Hello guys, my name is Putty, and welcome to probably the shortest episode in the series. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it slow, we're gonna slow down, chill, you know, read some stuff, you know, do, do a tucker. Nah, I'm joking. Shot fired, no. But like, just, you know, try and slow down, because we're only booking one match tonight, so. Uh, Teardar Alpha organizes a poker tournament, and uh, I gave Mr. Lucha some more time off. Um. Because he was complaining about not being given a push. I, I didn't want to give him a push. So I gave him a couple more months off. Uh, generic venue in Mexico. That looks good to me. <coughs> okay. And yeah, let's do the Battle Royal. We are going to have a 25 man Battle Royal. Yep. And, well, 25 person Battle Royal. God, game. Where's your PC era labeling? Gosh. So Evil is out, Ammo is out, Pesadilla is out, and Tirador is out, but he hasn't been added. Uh, do we add in all of the zombies? Probably. Probably not, actually. Let's keep the zombies out of this, if we can avoid it. Uh, we can't. <laughs> Let's just put the one guy in. Sure. So it's not every member of the roster, but it's pretty much every member of the roster. It's gonna go 40 minutes. Uh, there we go. And we are going to have Nicholas Lopez is gonna be the final member of the Hunt for Gold match that takes place in two weeks' time. But there is one more thing we need on this show, and it is going to be a tag team generic promo. No, it's not actually a tag team generic promo, but Phoenix is going to come out and he is going to announce that in two weeks' time at, uh, at the pay-per-view that will... Well, the, the night before Hunt for Gold, we're going to have the 2017 Hall of Fame induction ceremony and the person who will be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's the first time we're inducting an active wrestler into the Hall of Fame. We feel he deserves it. He's a he's an Oli legend. He's an Oli icon. One of the most titles in in, in all of Oli. Please welcome Marcos Flores. Marcos Flores is going to be the 2017 Oli Hall of Fame inductee. And uh, yeah, I, I I think that's a show. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm I'm only partially kidding because. Uh, we're also going to have, obviously, because as is tradition in, in Battle Royals, we're going to have the guy who's going to win have the only full entrance. The rest will get jobber entrances. I think three segments is enough, um, if I recall correctly. I believe you're okay with three segments, but just in case we're not, <laughs> we're also going to hype up the Tirador versus Nicholas feud. Just in case. Four segments should be enough, and the fans are like, okay, four segments is fine with me. Then we're going to have some pre-show matches, excluding booked. Pesa de Higa is going to take on Amo Delgato. I know it's a huge fucking match, but it's on the pre-show. Nobody's going to see it. It's fine. It's, it's cool. Don't worry about it. And um, Amo wins through cheating, I guess. Uh, open. Ch -ch 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 tainted. Amo wins through cheating on the pre-show. And then we'll have... Dos Martes take on Evil and Tirador because they've been kind of semi-aligned for a while. Like, it doesn't need to make that much sense. It's a pretty show match. <laughs> Just to get the crowd warmed up a bit. Storytelling. And I forgot to make this high spots. There we go. Awesome! Alright, thank, thank you all for watching. Yes, thank you all for watching. Let's get this rockin' and rollin', shall we? In a 79B, which is pretty good for a 12-minute match, Pesadilla, he guys defeated by Amo Delgato, using the ropes for, like, leverage. Boo! Boo! 73B minus, Evil and Tirador defeat Dos Martes 2, and let's get rolling for the proper show in front of 5,800 people. Uh, 73B minus video plays hyping up the previous pay-per-views match between Nicholas Lopez and Teodor Alpha where Nicholas came up short in qualifying for Hunt for Gold. Nicholas enters to an 85B plus and the only match of the evening gets a 73B minus which is not bad. In the battle had great, great heat and good wrestling. Nicholas Lopez won a battle royal in 40 minutes. The other members of the final four uh, were Marcus Flores, Raven Nightfall and Hellspawn666. 
Marcus Flores being the final elimination. He's not going to be in hand for gold, but he is. Well, he's got he's got more to this night than than that match. Slayer's getting stale, not a big deal. And Nicolas Lopez becomes the final qualifier for Hunt for Gold. So just so you know, the Hunt for Gold match as it currently stands is Nicolas Lopez, Teodor Alpha, Evil, Amo Delgato, Pesadilla, and Phoenix's mystery guest, who will be uh, the sixth person in that match for the Universal title. And uh, after the match, out comes Phoenix 1 to announce that the 2017 Hall of Fame inductee is Marcos Flores. Show overall gets a 75 B minus. Good stuff. Increased our pop in three regions. Awesome. So we've got it. The Hunt for Gold match is finalized. We are only two Por La Noches away from the Hunt for Gold match from the Hall of Fame induction ceremony. What is going to happen? Oh yeah, we've got the mid-year awards. So Champagne Lover wins that. Pride wins that. Well, on track to win that. Uh, Murayami and Ugaki are leading that. They're a pride tag team. SWF have won uh, Rocky versus Remo, which is 899. And show of the year so far is the Memorial, the head, the Ed Henson Cup. Young wrestler is Bryant Bernier, who works for North the Border. That makes sense. Vet wrestler of the year is El Demonio, El Demonio, who works for SWF. Sad. Uh, female wrestler of the year is Yuma, who is obviously Koizoe's missus. <laughs> um, we got Hector Moya, who is independent wrestler of the year. He seems like a Mexican dude. He is. Uh, you're probably not going to make a cameo, dude. <laughs> Retirement for Brian Vessie. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Now that you know the full field, kind of, for Hunt for Gold. You don't know the mystery guest. But now you know kind of the full field. Who do you think the mystery guest is? I've already asked that. But who do you think is going to win Hunt for Gold now? With, uh, with the full field pretty much announced. We're going to have two more shows in order to build up suspense for Hunt for Gold. But we've got a Hall of Famer announced as well. Marcos Lopez. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Sorry for the short-ish episode today. But we only had one match to book. Nicolas Lopez made it. He did it. He had three chances, but he made it. The ace is in the match. Is he going to be the one to reclaim the title from Evil? Find out in two weeks' time. I will see you guys then. Well, I'll see you guys before then. Adios, amigos.